द कामन रिक्वेड फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आर ईएसपी थर्टी टू बोर्ड स्टेपर मोटर ड्राइवर स्टेपर मोटर कनेक्टिंग केबल एंड कनेक्टिंग वायर्स Now log into the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Go to Google and search Arduino IoT Cloud and click on the first link. And then here click on the sign in button. Enter the username and password and sign in to sign into the Arduino IoT Cloud website. And now click get started here. Now first go to things menu and click on create thing. Here rename the thing name to control stepper motor. Click rename button. Then add two variables. So click on this add button. and add the variable names the first variable is for clockwise direction rotation and the second one is to the anti clockwise direction and select the variable type as switch and here we need to select read and write and here on change and click on add variable button now create the second variable again click add button and the variable name is anti clockwise here also uncheck this one and select the variable uh, variable type switch and click add variable now we need to select the device click on this select device button and here select set up a new device and then select third party device here we are using esp32 board and then so we need to select esp32 and the model name is ESP32 DAW module and then click on the continue button so here we can give any device name now click next button so copy the secret key and click this check box and click continue now the device is selected now select this configure button So here we need to give the network details. So enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. And here paste the secret key which we copied. And click on the save button. Now go to this uh, menu and select dashboards. here click create dashboard and give any name for the dashboard so here click this rename and give the name now we need to add two switch widgets so here give the name as clockwise and then click on link variable and link the clockwise variable which we created and then click this link variable button and then click done now add the second button and here give the name as anti clockwise and here also link the variable 
and select anti-clockwise variable name and click on the link variable button and here click done. Now again go to this menu and select things click on this thing and here go to sketch and then we can select open full editor now we need to write the program so the basic template is generated and we need, we want to add the functionality which we needed so first we need to define the pins and we need to include this header file. So I will paste this code in the video description. Now the program is completed. Now click on the select device. Here it is showing agent not found. So we need to install the agent. So click on this download button. Here click start and click download for Windows 64. So based on the OS you need to download this agent. Now click on this and install the agent. Click yes. Here click next. Now the agent is installed. And here click go to web editor. So here the port is selected and we connected the device so port is selected so click here here we need to select the device ESP32 DAO module now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board now we can set up the IoT cloud mobile application for that download the iot remote application from the play store now once you open the application you can see the dashboard which we created from the web so click on the dashboard here we can see the two button widgets which we added now we can check the output 